good morning. I need to say something. <laughs> Ten minutes in. Good morning from Salisbury, North Carolina. It is, uh, what's what's the name of this channel? The Bobby Parkway. That's right. I rebranded it and everything. Uh, it is uh, March 5th, 2022. Just uh, got done having uh, breakfast. Breakfast time. Doing this video give give you a little uh, give you a little drive here towards uh, downtown Salisbury, North Carolina. Shooting this about uh, this is about what seven thirty eight in the morning. Yeah, just looking at my watch. So, all right. So, went to breakfast, then went to Sheets, and uh, that Sheets, the first one I've seen with the self-checkout. I like that. What I don't like is that they are about, like, pretty much across the street from uh, the corporate headquarters of Cheerwine, which is a cherry soft drink. They're right across the street from Cheerwine, right? But I want to get a Cheerwine, because I'm in Salisbury, North Carolina, the, the, the world headquarters of Cheerwine. Also where it was invented about a little over 100 years ago, right? Guess what? No cheer wine. None. Uh-uh. You know? So, yeah. So, yeah. That that sheets can bleh, you know? Um, but what I was really looking for was uh, I need some allergy medicine and uh, some something. Because I just had breakfast. Uh, I need a good... Uh, some uh, trident uh, gum there for my teeth and my breath, you know. <laughs> okay. And then I had a really good breakfast. Uh, a place called Breakfast Time. They have a location in Salisbury. A couple other locations in the area. A small local chain. Definitely give them a try. I had Eggs Benedict. Two very nice big English muffins with eggs. and ho Plenty of hollandaise sauce, right? Uh, it's great. You could probably make a meal with hollandaise sauce. It was so good and so prevalent. Some liver mush, which is like scrapple for y'all up in the Delmarva area. That's what they call it. So anyway, take a little drive here. I'm uh, going to go see a, a mural. A mural, I think that's how you say that, uh, for Cheerwine, right? And I think, let's see. Yeah, this is where we need to go. And... I wish, you know, it's hard to see a street sign, like when it's on the side, but when it's um, up, up, uh, you know, where the traffic lights are, you can see it a lot better. So I'm going to take a look at this mural, and I hear a train, and hopefully it won't hold us up. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this breakfast time was uh, they did not specify whether or not you pay the bill you you go up front to a cash register to pay when you're done with your meal or if you just wait for a server <laughs> most restaurants that eat where you have to wait to be seated and you get serviced through waiter or wait waitress wait staff um most restaurants you have to um you know the, the wait staff dude does everything. You sit there and, you know, all that. Okay. This, um, but this particular person, um, they, but anyway, but actually I, I waited around like a good 10 minutes and finally I saw the table, like a couple tables next to me, they were uh, doing that, you know, you like, you have to go to the cash register. So, okay. So we'll go to the cash register. Did that course wait like 10 minutes and I hope I'm hope i doing okay with time. Anyway, this is on uh, Council Street. This is the Cheerwine mural. You can see right up here, Cheer. <laughs> cheer, get it, Cheerwine. So yeah, look, look, look at that. Uh, good there's nobody around right now, but yeah, get a nice view of that side right there. Okay, so now, Let's see. I'm just going to make a circle. 
because that's what you do. <laughs> Don't, don't try to, um, you know. Plus, we'll get on industry, which is like the main drag through downtown here. But, yeah, don't be one of those crazy people that tries a tries a U-turn in the middle of the road, you know. It's like, just just turn, you know, turn right, go around the block. It's, it's just when, you know. And then this person, well, of course, they're turning right, but, you know, the line should, um... I don't know what I'll say about that, but okay. Okay. And there's the iconic 20 mile an hour speed limit that every single small town in North Carolina has. 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Which is not... It's it's like... It's like half a, half a stroke of the, 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 the gas, you know? Well, if you're like me and you have an automatic transmission car, now if you're a stick shift, I don't know, uh, 20 miles an hour is first, maybe second gear? I don't know. I tried driving a um, stick shift. All right, I was about to turn 16. My mom was going to give me her old car. It's a 1990 uh, Honda Accord. This, this is a 2000 that I'm in right now, by the way. Love Honda Accords. Great cars. Anyway, uh, the only issue with mom's old car was it was a stick shift. So I tried to learn stick shift, just could not do it. Um, you know, just... But eventually, uh, about a year or two later, senior year of high school... Uh, mom and dad, very fortunate, grateful for them, um, bought me a car with automatic. So, there you go. And I think we're going to turn Fulton Street here. Fulton Street is, uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that's definitely Fulton Street. Okay. So, okay, now we're going to go, now we're actually going to go on our way to uh, Food Lion Corporate Headquarters, woohoo, I know you can't wait, right, but yeah, this, this is a very, very, uh, very picturesque town they got here. Reminds me of another town that I visited about a year ago, actually, Conway, South Carolina. Um, but for a small town, that town's getting it's it's, it's inheriting a lot of the, uh, traffic problems of Myrtle Beach. Um, this uh, now Salisbury, North Carolina. Uh, I live in Greensboro. It took me about 40 minutes to get here. Uh, about halfway between Charlotte and Greensboro along Interstate 85. About 35,000 people live in Charlotte. Excuse me. No. No. <laughs> no. They live in Salisbury. 35,000 people live in Salisbury. Uh, Charlotte at 35,000 people, that would be about 150 years ago, 200 years ago, something like that. Home to Cheerwine. Um, what else? Yeah, Food Line Corporate Headquarters. Rack Room Shoes was started about 100 years ago here in Salisbury. Now their headquarters is in Charlotte. Uh, they have two private colleges here, Catawba College and Livingstone College. Of course, they have Community College. That's... Uh, Rowan Cabarrus Community College. Rowan County is the county we're in now. And then Cabarrus County is to our south. And then you get into the People's Republic of Me Mecklenburg. <laughs> Mecklenburg uh, County where Charlotte is uh, located. Okay, so I'm going to make ow. Okay. And I'm going to make a, looks like a a slate right here, I believe. I think that's where I'm going. I, uh, let's see. Okay. Try to follow this. It says go a mile, I believe. So. Alright. Wow. 
wow, three ninety nine. Yeah, uh, average gas price right now. Uh, what I'm seeing is about three seventy nine. I did see three eighty nine at the sheets, back where I stopped. Um, but yeah, Coca Cola. That's a Big, big competitor of chair wine. But yeah, I filled up the other day uh, 376 a gallon. Uh, use my sheet. This was in Greensboro. Use my sheets card for that. Three cent discount. I think they have a promo right now. You, uh, down with the app, you get like 15 cents off. 15, I believe. Um, we'll see. Okay. Wow, that card did not, people do not want to yield, apparently. All right, so, try, all right, so, okay, now this is go 0.9 miles, so we're going to go 0.9 miles, all right, there we go. We're on uh, U.S. Highway 601. This is kind of like the, the Salisbury Bypass, kind of, sort of. Of course, the real bypass is um, Interstate 85. Okay. Hey, you always get it's always worst when you're when you're cruising along and the light changes from green to red rather than if you already come up on a you know red traffic light because <laughs> like you know well traffic's not too bad now but sometimes you're like you pass a bunch of people and then it's like oh man they call it, they catch up to you and stuff so it's like man all right so first it's kind of on my tail there man what are you doing? Anyway. <sighs> Talking about the person behind me. Okay, so. Alright, I'm gonna assume. Let's we'll see. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, so what am I doing in Salisbury besides looking at uh, Cheerwine Merle? I know I didn't drive 40 minutes. Just to look at cheer wine and uh, food wine headquarters. No, um, going to a political event, and I'll tell you all about that on my sister channel. It used to be called the Conservative Pelican. Now I'm going to call it Right Eats Right Politics because uh, do a lot more food reviews and um, still talk about politics on there, but um, also do a lot of food. Reviews. So, anyway, back to this town now. The Balby Parkway used to be gregarious drivers of North, Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, and then just, you know, the, the content on the channel just did not really fit the channel name anymore. Um, Well, you can see we're getting close to Food Line headquarters because you just saw two uh, two big 18 wheelers for Food Line go by. Okay, so we're on uh, Harrison Road here. It's supposed to go uh, eight tenths of a mile. Now get us to our corporate headquarters. By the way, uh, Adam the Woo was in Salisbury about a month ago, six weeks ago, and uh, 
he looked at the cheer line side, but he did not go to food line corner dead course. So, yeah, some of the ideas, a lot of the ideas are authentic. Some of them I, you know, get from other people. So, okay, so this Lion's Share Federal Credit Union. Oh, that's so cool. They have their own credit union. Imagine that. Executive Drive Campus. So. So, if you're watching this video and you live in Sheboygan or Cheyenne and don't know what Food Line is, Food Line is a grocery store chain headquartered here in North Carolina, but uh, the stores go as far south as South Carolina, also as far west as Kentucky, and um, far north as uh, Pennsylvania. So, Mid Atlantic, Mid South uh, Company. And it looks like there's somebody at the gate, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back over here, and uh, you know, not um, yeah. <laughs> the gate was well, I don't know. They have, there's somebody at the gatehouse, okay? So um, there's somebody manning the gatehouse. The gate, I looked at it. It was up. It was open, but there was somebody at the gatehouse. So. It's, it, it's one of those things where trespassing, you know, kind of comes into play. But again, we're just gonna, we just went as far as we could. And so I think there's a little bit more of the, um, the, the, uh, the campus, um, I think. I think that truck's turning, I hope. <laughs> Darn it, don't, I don't know if they are or not. <laughs> Darn it, they're going straight. All right, okay. Food Line is a company. They're doing really well. Um, they've 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 bought out a lot of stores from Bilo. Is the name of the company, I believe. Um, some other companies. They also has have uh, little sister spinoff stores. Martin's is big. Um, if you're up Pennsylvania, Western Maryland, closer to Baltimore. That's one giant eagle in the Pittsburgh area. That's kind of like associated with them as well. Um, but they're doing better than what they were. Uh, they've remodeled most of their stores over the last uh, 10 years. Um, they're very competitive with Walmart and Aldi as far as price. Um, selection and variety is a little not is a little thin. That's more of a, uh, but if you have more variety and, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more, then you're going into Harris Teeter Publix area and higher price. Okay, Food Line Harrison Road Campus is up there. Um, and again, <laughs> lots of lots of Food Line trucks, right? Um, So we have uh, Cheryl's Ford Road here. Let's see, where are we going? Well, it'd be nice if you would use a blinker on it, you know? Jeez, people. Uh, but the thing I like best about Food Line is their shop and earn, their shop and earn program. What it is, is each month you get a list of promotions that they're running. Uh, it could be $2. When you spend $10, you get $2 back. If you buy, or if you buy 20 bucks in frozen food, you get $5 back. Use on next purchase. Um, so it's really cool. Um, I think they're the only grocery store chain uh, here in North Carolina that actually does something like that. I, I, I know CVS has, it's kind of a similar program, but you have to buy certain actual items. You know, you buy a tube of toothpaste, 
it's three ninety nine, but they give you three dollars back in extra bucks. That that kind of thing. So anyway. Now we're not really in Salisbury, we're in Rowan County, <laughs> the outskirts of Salisbury. Uh, but you'll find, um, Salisbury City Limits here. You will find that um, in a lot of small towns, believe it or not, uh, you won't have, well, you might have a Walmart or a small Walmart, but you'll have like two or three food lines. So there are, they always have a, a, a big, a big enough footprint, right, to where, um, you, know, you don't have to drive as far to get to a food line they do for Walmart. So, you, so you'll find they're like less crowded. The parking lots are a little bit less hectic, and the prices are very, very good, very competitive. And I, I tell you, um, you know, we the, the labor shortage has been in the news a lot, <laughs> right? The last couple of years of COVID, especially, but yeah. Um, I hope that person stops. My goodness. <laughs> See, speaking of them, <laughs> food line right there. Another food line truck. So, um, okay. So I was, um, I was at a food line a couple weeks ago. It was about 11 a.m. on Tuesday. Now, at um, well, I'll just tell y'all, I work for Walmart, okay, I work as in, uh, at an in-store position, not an office position, in-store, okay, typically at 11 a.m. on a weekday, we usually have one cashier, one, one cash register, of course, we have six self-checkouts that are open, um, you know, open and close, but just one, um, one cash register. Okay. One cash register at Walmart. Guess how many registers food line had? Four, four cashiers. Okay. Now bear in mind, this particular food line that was at did not have self checkouts. So, and, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if any of the, um, the food lines have self checkouts. Try, I don't, think they do which is kind of weird um, you know you would think they would be one of the first companies to have it because actually um, the first Publix that was built in Greensboro was at nice High Point they opened about four or five years ago now and um, and they have self checkouts also the one uh, near Jamestown around the edge of Greensboro there they um They have self checkouts as well. Culver's. Oh, that's just a billboard. I thought it was the actual, um, the actual restaurant. Anyway, there's Bob Ware's Brader uh, shop. Going by cemetery on the left. My dad would say, "Son, people are dying to get in there." Naples Cafe. It's a pizza place up here. Okay. Well, 
Extreme Nutrition. Papa Top's Cash and Carry. Oh, that's closed, closed out of business now. Darn. Sounds like a pretty cool place. Papa Top's. Stalin's Memorial Baptist Church. And here we go back into the downtown area. And uh, I was watching a little YouTube video last night uh, put out by PBS North Carolina. Uh, they have this neat little show called North Carolina Weekend and um, had a nice video about, you know, taking, spending the day in Salisbury. So that'd be a cool idea to do. Take a day because there's a lot of arts, um, a lot of historic buildings, walking tours, self-guided walking tours you can take. Um, pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, got some murals over there to our right. A few um, Bank Bank Street. <laughs> Brat time. Selling fast. There's a plaque over to our left about Andrew Jackson. So, um, yeah. Plenty of uh, parking. <laughs> 